Team World, today I'm going to demonstrate something that uh, something that you may have to do uh, if you've been using a Pertus for a while uh, and if you have uh, etched an extensive amount of data, uh, then this, this might happen to you. Basically, every time you etch something with a Pertus, it is uh, putting transactions into, into your, your local wallet. And after, uh, after you've been doing that for a while, uh, let's say after you've gotten over, uh, over four megs of transactions, uh, then your wallet will really slow down. So this, this video is going to show you uh, how to resolve that issue. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, back up everything out of Apertus uh, and we're going to move all of our funds into a blank, fresh wallet. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna basically just kind of demonstrate that process to you uh, here in real time. Uh, because that has actually happened to me. Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, archiving uh, for, for Standing Rock, and if you can tell based off my desktop, uh, I've been putting a whole lot of stuff uh, on the Maza coin blockchain. And in doing that, uh, I've, uh, I've bloated my wallet. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to, how to, how, how to resolve that. So the, uh, the way I normally do it uh, is I'll open a Pertus, and at first I will back up everything that uh, I'm currently using uh, that I've configured in a Pertus. So I'm going to show you how to back everything up uh, first. Uh, we'll, we'll eventually make this uh, an automated process, but for now you got to do this the old-fashioned way. So I like to open up Notepad, just kind of keep it available, keep it available, uh, and then within a Pertus, uh, through all the different uh, within the different uh, areas we were going to export out uh, the private keys associated with some of these things and I've, I've just set up test profiles uh, to do this because I didn't want to actually show you my real private keys <laughs> so I've created, I created a test profile which is just blank uh, a test signature which is also hasn't been used in a test vault to kind of show you how this works I've uh, so to back everything up uh, open up a Pertus uh, go to the blockchain that we're uh, uh, planning on uh, Resetting, so we'll say Maza coin. Uh, and once you've selected, uh, then your uh, already configured uh, items will appear in these drop down lists. Uh, to uh, export them out, uh, there's a little button here. Uh, if you click on it, oops, if you select the profile that you'd like to export first and then click on it, uh, you'll see that it says a private key has been copied to memory. And then we'll just put that on here. We'll say this is your test profile. And I just paste the uh, private keys here. I'm going to do the same thing with my signature. Select it, copy it out. Test signature. And I'm going to, I created a vault, a test vault. And again, vault, vaults are uh, your encrypted data store. And last but not least, uh, on my profile, I've actually, uh, I do have uh, a tip address associated with my profile. So to export that out, I actually have to open up my profiles, select my test profile, uh, and select test tips, and we'll export this one out too. Okay. And we'll paste that in there. Okay, so we've copied everything that uh, we needed to get out of uh, Apertus. So we will close Apertus down for now. And uh, let's open up the uh, Mazacoin wallet just to kind of show you some things here. Uh, so you can see that we still have quite a bit of funds left in our Mazacore wallet. So we don't want to lose all that. Uh, we we want to keep that money. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to create a, uh, a blank wallet generate a new address that we want the funds to be sent to and then we were going to transfer all of these funds into the new blank wallet uh, so to do that we will first need to close the, the the wallet that we're using so we'll close it down and then we need to browse out to where the wallet is 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 storing all of its uh configuration files basically the wallet that that file is what we're looking for so that on Windows, you can go to C users, your username, 
app data roaming and then the, uh, for this version of Maza, which is new Maza core, the folder name is actually just Maza. So we'll select it. Uh, and you can see in here, there's a wallet.dat file. And if you notice, it's almost, uh, it's 4.5 megs. Uh, that's big. So anything, uh, uh, if, if you uh, want to be proactive on this and, and you're looking uh, and, you, and you, don't, uh, you don't want to uh, basically, what, what, what can happen is if, if, you, if I would keep on using this, uh, for instance, let's say I bloat this up to seven megs, uh, eventually I won't even be able to open up my wallet.dat. I won't even be able to open it on the blockchain. So because of that, I will, if there was, if there were, was uh, money, coins associated uh, with that wallet, uh, I'm, it, would, it would be lost. So you want to be a little bit proactive on this. And I try to, I try to grab these uh, when they're no bigger than uh, five megs. Uh, is usually when I like to do this. And you'll notice as you start etching things, it'll start to get slower and slower and slower and slower to where uh, something that would normally uh, take you five minutes to etch uh, can suddenly take you 25 minutes to etch. So you'll know uh, things will start to, start to get really slow. Uh, and if that happens, why not look at this uh, wallet.dat and see if it's too big. Okay, so, uh, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna temporarily rename this one to old. And now I'm going to relaunch the Maza blockchain. And this is going to, Maza will basically see that there is no longer a wallet.dat file and it'll create a new one. You'll see that it, it'll just be generated here shortly while this is loading. There it is, wallet.dat, and it starts out being 88 kilobytes. Cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm going to grab a new address uh, in order to send all my remaining funds to. Uh, so we'll go to File, Receiving Addresses, create a new one, I'm just gonna call it Money. And I found it's always best to create a new one. Don't use the default no label one that's created by Maza. I've had issues with that. Go ahead and create a brand new one. Uh, you can you could call it anything that you want. I just call it my money because it's easy to remember. And then we wanna copy this address that we just created we're going to put it back into this uh, text pad that we're using. Uh, new address. Oop. Cool. All right. Now we can close this down. So basically, we have uh, created a new address in order for us to send the, the funds to. So now we're going to uh, come back to the uh, place out place where Maza is storing our config files in our, in our wallet.dat. And we're going to change this one now temporarily to new, just so we remember. And then we're going to change this one back to what it was before. Wallet.dat. So now uh, we can, now when we open up Maza, we will have our old wallet back again. And we will then transfer the money from one, or the data, to me, uh, I, I, I actually don't really associate money with most of this most of these blockchains I, I just see them as data stores <laughs> so sometimes uh, my terminology isn't, isn't what it should be okay so as you can tell my wallet is not responding uh, it's doing that because uh, it's bloated uh, it's not because of what I had just done it's been doing this uh, since my last couple etchings uh, and that's the kind of behavior that you'll start to see it'll start to get slow and it'll start not responding things like that so I'm going to now uh, move all the remaining funds that I have to this new address that I just created in the other into the other wallet paste it in there nine 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 seven seven I try to get as much as I can And so I've left this with a remaining of 0 0.00007, which is really a tiny amount, uh, especially for Maza coin. I do like to wait a bit uh, before I before shutting this off, uh, just to make sure that my transaction uh, has been at least broadcasted to a few different uh, uh, wallets within within the network. Uh, so after I send it, I will come here and, and right click or double click. Uh, and it looks like it's been broadcast through four, four nodes. So that should be okay. 
So I'm going to close this down. And now I'm going to go back out and I'm going to change the wallet.dat file. Oops. I just had to old. And I usually don't get rid of these. I usually kind of archive these. Uh, who knows? Down the road, maybe 0.00007 Mazacoin might be worth uh, something. So I, I like to keep them uh, just in case in an archive. And then uh, we'll rename this one, the new one, back to wallet.dat. Yes. And now we're going to open up Maza again. There it goes. Took a while for it to uh, connect up for some reason there. And we might need to wait here for two minutes while that uh, is being confirmed. Well, that's being confirmed, we'll close that down. Uh, I will continue the process. So now we've got a new wallet. We've got uh, we've transferred the uh, the cash into the new wallet. So now we need to import all the signatures that and things that we were using before. So let's open up uh, a Pertus again. Oops. And actually, it looks like I have to uh, launch it from here. And we'll open up our Notepad that we just had and we will start importing these. It's pretty simple. Uh, we will uh, start with the vault. Again, select the blockchain, Maza coin. Cool. Uh, and to add it, click on the plus sign, paste in the private key, and then hit enter. It's gonna ask for a, uh, a label, so we're gonna say test. Vault. Okay, cool. So we have imported our vault. We're going to do the same thing with our signature. Plus. And then uh, finally, we're going to do the same thing with profiles. Profiles, a little bit different. It opens up a separate window when you click that button. That's okay. Uh, and ac actually before, uh, let's see. Yes. Now, after I hit this, it's going to uh, force the uh, Mazacoin wallet to do a full uh, re-index scan. So I'm not going to kind of wait for that whole process to happen. Uh, I'm just going to kind of tell you about it. Uh, so let's put one in there. Same thing. And now you'll see that uh, Mazacoin is fully rescanning. After that rescan is complete, uh, your this profile would successfully import. A profile does require a full index scan because a profile, uh, in order for it to work, it has to it has to basically get to the root of that uh, of, of the very first profile that was uh, inserted. And to get to the root of that profile, it has to do a full uh, blockchain scan. Uh, we are going to make it so. Uh, I, I believe also the tip uh, when you import the tip. I think it might also do a full scan, uh, which is a bug. We were, we're working on that because that isn't really necessary. Uh, but that's really the process. So now uh, eventually money will be in my account uh, and I will have all of my previous signatures and profiles into this new wallet uh, and I can begin again without having uh, issue.
uh, and then uh, you know I'll just kind of keep using it until I get back to that four or five megabyte size again and then I just uh, keep on redoing this process. We are uh, creating some code around this to where it can potentially happen um, just automatically or at least by, uh, uh, by pushing a button. Uh, but for now, this is the process uh, that you would need to follow. Uh, thanks a lot for your time and have a great day.